good morning is it from Zester's lab. This morning I'm busy fixing. I'm the fixer up there. I made two of these chairs. I love my garden chairs that hang. I'll show you where I'm hanging it in my garden. This one was very, very dirty, so I quickly washed it. And now I'm putting in new rope. And you know, it's so easy to make your garden your sanctuary. It doesn't have to cost a lot. It's not a lot of effort. You just use what you have. So I had got these really, really, really outside material, very good outside material years ago. And then I thought, but oh, I would love a hammer. So at first I made myself two hammocks and then I got the pattern for this and oh my goodness, I just love it. So and then when we went to Thailand, listen to this, I found hammocks there that you can buy for 50 rand. It's ridiculous. But I didn't buy because I really don't need, I still have four hanging in my garden. And today I just want to show you some of the beautiful areas in my garden. There's just these little places that really makes me feel at home. So when you have a garden, even if it's very small, you, you just need to do a couple of little things to make it your own. To make you feel at home because... Where else are you going to feel at home? So I absolutely love my house and my garden. It became my own. You see, the older you get, the more you change things so that you can like it. At first, when the kids were small and they were in the house and whatever, you focus on them. And then you get to a point, you know, what makes me happy? I need to be happy and content so that I can be of help to others. You can be of no help to anybody else if you're not happy with yourself, if you're not, not at ease, at peace. You cannot help anybody, so you need to deal with your things in order to be of help to others. So make your house and your garden your sanctuary, a place where you can really fill your cup. So this is one of my really, really most precious things are these things because I can really just come out in the mornings or afternoon and just sit and have my cup of coffee and you can just swing. So yes, let me show you the rest of the garden. Okay, there you can see just some stuff. Oh, I love it. I just pick up these shells on the beach. They're broken. They're all over the place. And every day when we go for a walk, I just pick up some shells. And then I just put them onto a piece of rope. And I hang it on my tree. Oh, I want to show you this tree. I bought it, I think about 20 years ago, for a Christmas tree. And then I planted it in the garden. And now just look at it. It is massive. So, so much memories. There's a little fish pond that I made from thick plastic bags. So you just go and get a big thick piece of plastic, they use it for building and you will also, I think when you go and you ask it's for dam liners, so you just buy a big piece of plastic, dug a hole, put the plastic in, put a couple of rocks around, look here this is an old um, thing that you use in the house. So that I just made my water feature from that. My water feature is not running at the moment, but that is my fish pond. 
cost you next to nothing. These needs a little bit of uh, paint again. It's just some pieces of wood that you write something on. You plant it in your garden and there you have it. Voila, laughter, happiness, peace and joy and a little thing that I never use in my house and I'm just throw in this scrap food and whatever for my birds this is something hubby made also from wood that we had that is my beautiful planter and there at the back you can see life happens now I need to see that daily to remind me that life happens now. Now look at this. <laughs> These were fish knives I bought somewhere, five rand each. So I just hang them onto a horseshoe. And if the wind blows, it is the most beautiful sound. There you can see just ordinary pots for plants that I just threw in water and my dogs drink there the water is always clean there you can see my other hammock that one I can lie down read this is something I made inside myself is a place where I live all alone and that's where I renew my springs that never dry up. Isn't it beautiful? So just write things on random things that I pick up. Write things that speaks to you. There's another one of my planters hubby made. There you can see our pond. This was also a huge tank that a friend didn't want to use anymore so he gave it to hubby and hubby just made a pond isn't it absolutely gorgeous it's a little bit dirty at present it's starting to become winter here but you know the awesome thing this looks like a dam so you don't really care so we made these stones with bags that we filled up with some um, sand and then put um, plaster over it, cement. There at the back, there comes Bella Blops. There's some chairs that a friend gave me. I recycled them, painted them, put on some, made some cushions. And another beautiful little spot there at the bottom. But look at the, my beautiful trees. My garden is about... Um, we moved in here, I think it was 94, so you can imagine it's nearly 30 years. And we built the house and we, it was only, we very close to this beach, so the sand, it's only sea sand. So all I have to do is compost, everything just goes onto my compost heap there you can see just another little space you can even sit there at the back and there's some more shelves I love it and at first I bought lots of plants that just died so this is my garden and it's just full of indigenous plants most of these are indigenous this is a chair that I never actually use, but I'm now using it for my bonsai that a friend blessed me with for my birthday. There you can see all my plants. There are more planters have been made. And here you can see my cups, all my cups that's chipped. I hang them in my tree. And this is another beautiful spot. And there you can see our beautiful area. There's another hammock there. This is our fire pit full of rubbish. We need to make a fire tonight and barbecue and then first burn all the rubbish. And there you can see our table. 
with our wine bottles and there's welcome life happens now another reminder some more shells my hammock this is the fire pit but sorry it looks terrible full of rubbish my big tree fell down so these are all the dead branches we had to cut off but there you can see a beautiful door I picked up somewhere there's my tree lying there and this was another piece that I've just need to repaint again it's rusting all my needs are met on the windmill so thank you for joining me in my garden these are just some of the beautiful little spots that I created for me I'll end with this bicycle while we were driving oh, there you can see there you can see the bicycle when we were driving in the countryside visiting a beautiful lodge I uh, saw this my hubby actually saw this old bicycle on the roof of one of the roof um, workers' houses. And I, he said, man, just give him some money and perhaps he'll sell it to you. So I bought a bicycle, put it on the roof of our 4x4 four four, and now I'm using it. It's struggling a bit, starting to rust, but it's there next to my little pool. And this is our favorite spot. There you can see our dog is lying. This is our spot where we have our, we, a lot of times we have our lunch here. And there you can see, that's why I, where I was sitting when I started the video. So thanks for journeying through my garden with me. Thanks that I can share my life. And the moral of this story is create your own heaven right here right now create some places even if you've got the smallest house or only one room a little piece of garden just create it your own magic make what makes you happy create what makes you happy and these Bella Blobs and Banlu they love the house this is another rock that I picked up on one of our travels and I just painted the aloe on that. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for sharing my life and my journey. Love you lots. Is it from Zetster's lab? There they're playing. Bella Blobs is the one that loves playing. Banlu loves resting and sitting. Banlu! Bella! And they are the love of my life. They always hear, so whenever I come home, they greet me very happily. That's precious. Having some things that loves you unconditionally, that know, that demonstrates unconditional love. So precious. Bye.